What's up everybody, Peter Valley here, and in this video I'm gonna give you the top five online book arbitrage profit triggers. Now these are the five things that I've identified that directly translate into more profits. Fundamentally, this, these five things are why online book arbitrage works. And if you can understand what's in this video, this puts you in the top like 2% of all people doing this because you're not just understanding tactics, you're understanding the principles, why the tactics work. And this is what puts people in that top, you know, two, 5% of everyone doing this, okay? So this video is what separates the pros from the amateurs, okay? So let's get into it. What are you gonna learn by the end of this video? You're gonna learn why online book arbitrage works. Now this is really important because most people, and I get these emails all the time, where people go, Okay, I bought a book and I bought it for 30 and I sold it for 70 and I made some money. That's amazing, but I still don't believe this works. I think it's a fluke. People think people buy a book and they think it's like it was just like some some sort of like accident that caused them to make money, right? So if you understand why people are willing to pay more for FDA offers, then all the mystery gets removed and you understand you're actually adding value to people. And that's why we get the big bucks, right? That's why we get to price our books a lot higher as FBA sellers. So I'm gonna get in all that. Number two, how to profit. If you understand these top five profit triggers and you apply them, you're gonna simply make more money than anyone else, okay? So that's what we're gonna cover in this video. But I have to give you a warning. This is for people who want to make money. Now, obviously that's all of us, right? But what I really mean is this for the, is for the people that don't wanna be an amateur. You wanna focus on principles and not tactics. Here's what the amateurs do. They go, hey, Peter Valley, I need a list of books, a list of keywords I can search for, and then exactly how to set the search settings so that we'll just, I'll just get a list of books and then I can just buy the books and make money. Okay, 100% chance that someone that, that asked that question is gonna fail unless they turn their mindset around dramatically, right? This is for people who wanna understand the principles about how the profit is made so they don't need to ask for keywords or focus on all that granular tactical stuff and they can actually structure their own searches and make money without needing some list or some trick or some hack or some magic bullet or some widget. That's how you fail, right? Those are the people that don't last, okay? So this is people that really don't wanna understand why online book arbitrage works. So before we get into that, um, just quick introduction. My name is Peter Valley. I um, pioneered this concept of online book arbitrage back in about 2014. Uh, there's some of my books there. I'm, I guess, the world's most published author on Amazon selling. I, I don't know how that happened. It was totally accidental. I do the website fbamastery.com. Done that for years. And um, because if we can't laugh at ourselves, then we shouldn't be hanging out together. <laughs> um, true story. First time I ever attempted to source books to resell. I was at a thrift store and there were thousands of books in their dumpster and so I crawled in that dumpster and the employees subsequently caught me, slammed the lid shut, locked me inside and called the police. And I emerged 40 minutes later to a bunch of cops <laughs> staring me down. <laughs> Didn't go to jail though. Okay, so in 2015, true story. 2015, I launched online book, I'm sorry, Zen Arbitrage, which is the world's first online book arbitrage tool. And I started this online sourcing revolution of people like working from home in their pajamas, doing what we're gonna talk about in this video. Okay, so here's what we're gonna cover. The five concepts, the five profit triggers that translate to profits and basically how online book arbitrage works and what makes it work. So this will not be some mysterious trick to you or some like, example of like weird online sorcery and you'll understand very clearly how it works and how to make the most amount of money. So by the way, if you're totally new, I need to give a couple of seconds to people that are like totally new to this concept. You're like, what the heck is he talking about? Here's the basic idea of online book arbitrage, okay? At any moment, there are millions and millions of books on Amazon that have a huge gap between the lowest merchant fulfilled price, which is how most people sell on Amazon, and the lowest FBA price, FBA being sort of the, the sort of elite kind of VIP club of Amazon. It's really easy to get an account, but most people don't, don't ever bother, right? So here's an example, and this is kind of an exaggerated one because you see the book on the left is a penny. There's not a lot of books on Amazon for a penny, but you can buy a book, right? This book I just, you know, I found not too long ago. You can buy it for a penny plus postage, resell it for $30 and profit the difference. Okay, that's how and you can see the little FBA logo on the right hand side. The reason you can resell for $30 is because your fulfillment by Amazon seller. And in profit trigger number one, we're actually gonna talk about how it's possible to charge those crazy prices as FBA sellers. So this is profit trigger number one. This is the concept that I've named pricing leverage. 
This is why, as an FBA seller, you can price dramatically higher, okay? And there's actually very specific reasons for that. And they all fall under the umbrella of, if you're an FBA seller, you're adding lots of value to your offers that merchant-fulfilled sellers, the cheap sellers, can't offer. And people pay us more for that value, okay? So here's, here's the concept of pricing leverage. Amazon Prime subscribers, the people who get free shipping with Amazon Prime, and a lot of non-Prime subscribers, are willing to pay way more for Prime eligible offers often 10 or 20 times more, and that is not an exaggeration. Now, if you've been an FBA seller for a while, you know this already. We've already, this is not a mystery. This is the best kept secret selling online, which is just this concept of pricing leverage. So you know this already if you're an FBA seller, but if you're not an FBA seller, I'll briefly explain why pricing leverage works. So here's the seven elements. These are the seven reasons that we can price higher as FBA sellers. Number one, buy box placement. If you don't know what the buy box is, don't worry, it doesn't matter. I'm not gonna go into it, but it's basically where Amazon puts the most important offers and most sales, at least theoretically, most sales happen through the buy box. And if you're an FBA seller, you get preferential treatment for the buy box. Number two, free shipping. All Prime subscribers get free shipping for FBA offers. And so um, as FBA sellers, we provide that free shipping, whereas merchant fulfilled sellers do not. Lightning fast shipping. People know, particularly Prime subscribers, know when they buy from us as FBA sellers, they're gonna get that books fast. And again, you know, free two-day shipping is, is a part of being a Prime subscriber. So you get free second-day shipping. We offer that, nobody else can. Trust. People know that our, their orders are being fulfilled by Amazon. Not, they don't have to worry about somebody forgetting to go to the post office. They don't have to worry about somebody packaging their book in a sloppy fashion. They know that when they buy a book, they're gonna get it in the exact condition they expected, or if not, they have easy return policy, and they're gonna get, it's gonna be packaged well, and it's gonna be shipped fast, and there's not gonna be any mistakes, and there's not gonna be any room for the error when you're buying from Amazon, right? Because again, all of our orders as FBA sellers are fulfilled by Amazon. So therefore, we get that built-in trust that Amazon has spent years building up. Number five, Amazon steers customers' eyeballs towards FBA offers. This is very subtle, but the primary way this happens is the buy box, but there's other ways too. There's a checkbox in the left-hand column so you can filter out the non-FBA offers. Amazon increasingly wants customers to only focus on FBA offers. And so for that reason, we, you know, we get the eyeballs. We get most of the people looking at us. Sometimes you'll see, you know, depending on the page layout, you'll see like the merge fulfilled offer will be like an eight point font and you, you can't even find it, right? So that is the power of the buy box and basically how Amazon steers people's eyeballs. Number six, Prime subscribers want Prime eligible offers. They pay $100 or more a month for their Prime subscription. They want to justify that subscription. And one of the ways they do that is to focus only on Prime eligible offers. When you talk to Prime members, or if you could look over their shoulder, you'll see they're, they're, they're skipping over everything. They're not even acknowledging non-Prime offers as being legitimate most of the time, right? They don't even, they would never even consider buying a non-Prime eligible offer. So again, this is, I mean, you stack these things on top of each other and the vast majority of sales on Amazon are, are FBA sales. Majority of customers have never and won't ever buy a non-prime eligible offer. Now this is kind of the same as number six, only it's even better because I'm talking about all Amazon sell, all Amazon customers, not just prime subscribers. So it is a fact that the vast majority of people who purchase on Amazon have never purchased a non-prime eligible, meaning a non-FBA offer. That's crazy, right? So basically, if you're not an FBA seller, you're kind of in the ghetto of Amazon. That's that's really what it comes down to, okay? So when you combine all these things together, you, we're getting all the eyeballs, we're getting all the traffic, we're getting all the sales as FBA sellers, and we can price much, much higher. Profit trigger number two is sales rank. This is how Amazon measures a book's demand. So here's the, pr the principle I want you to understand. As This is sales rank as it relates to online book arbitrage. The higher the demand for a book, meaning the better the sales rank, the greater the likelihood of there being a huge gap between the cheap merchant fulfilled price and the FBA price, okay? So the higher the demand, the faster lowball FBA offers sell out and that gap widens. So again, let's say you've got a book that's ranked a million, right? Um, and you know the lowest merch fulfilled price is $10. There's a pretty good chance the lowest FBA price will be $10 too. Because again, as time goes on, as the, as the gap between sales happens, prices tend to go down, they tend to equalize. 
So as demand goes up, those gaps start to widen more and more and more and more, which is why when a book is ranked 10,000, it's not uncommon to see a book that's selling for you know, $30 a merch fulfilled that you can resell for 120 FBA at that rank because the demand is so high, it's widening that gap. This is a really, really key point. People that understand this, they don't need to copy other people's searches. They can figure out their own searches because they understand this concept and how powerful it is, right? So everything we're doing with online book arbitrage is geared towards learning how to find these price gaps, right? All we're doing is trying to figure out how can we, what are the principles that create the huge gap between the purchase price and our FBA selling price? And sales rank is a massive one. I made it number two for a reason. So you're gonna find tons of books with price gaps ranked, you know, two or three million, which is a bad rank, but these are not the best candidates for online book arbitrage, right? You don't really wanna be investing in a book that's ranked two or three million because you don't know how often that book is selling. It's not selling very often at all. And the reason for this is if a buyer is only coming around every couple months for a book, what are the chances that someone's gonna to wanna to pay exorbitant prices for it, right? So again, if you got a book that's ranked three million, it hasn't sold for a few months, you know, you don't wanna bank on, you don't wanna bank on that one sell, that one buyer that's coming around every three months being willing to pay $50 more for your FBA offer, right? Because they might not, you wanna be the next sale. You don't wanna be waiting another three months and then another three months, right? So that's why sales rank is so key. So here's the deal, you want a return on your investment sooner rather than later. That's why I recommend that people not invest in books ranked worse than a million. And that's just a nice round number. You know, you can certainly have success at a rank of a million and a half or two million or whatever. You know, it's kind of a buyer beware thing, but I usually recommend don't go worse than a million. Um, because you want a return on your investment sooner rather than later. Some of you have lots of money to invest, right? And that's cool. And then you can actually get more liberal in your sales rank standards. But the best opportunity is going to be in the well-ranked books. That's what I always recommend. So the higher the demand and the lower the supply, the better the chance of those price gaps as well. So now we're, it's getting a little even more abstract here. But when you combine, I'll get to this in a second, when you combine sales rank, which is the, again, the measure of a book's demand. When you combine sales rank with a low supply, those two things together, oh man, it's like, uh, you know, it's just like, it's like the, it really is almost like the magic bullet, right? Because again, the lower the number of copies that are per sale, and then you add a high rank on top of that, it becomes super easy, okay? And don't worry if this doesn't make sense. This is, you know, if whether you're doing online book arbitrage uh, manually on Amazon, or you're using our tool called Zen Arbitrage, um, this will all become very clear once you start playing around with your searches. Um, and, and again, in Zen Arbitrage, we offer you all the, all the filters to be able to make this super easy, right? So profit trigger number three is kind of what I just alluded to is low supply equals big profits. So in every search result, whether you're doing it manually on Amazon or you're using Zen Arbitrage, you'll be able to see the total number of copies of books that are for sale of that particular book, total number of offers that are for sale, right? So that is a very powerful number. We display that in Zen Arbitrage for a reason. So when you're looking for these big price gaps, a key factor is the ratio of non-FBA offers to FBA offers, or just even more simply, just the, the total number of offers that are for sale. The lower that number, the better the potential for profit. So fewer merch fulfilled offers equals fewer FBA offers equals higher prices. So let me give you an example. Let's just say 10% of sellers are FBA sellers. I think it's a little higher than that, but let's just say 10%, right? So that means um, if you got a book and there are 10 total offers for sale, and you can see that number on Amazon or as an arbitrage, there's 10 offers for sale. That means on average, there's gonna be one FBA seller, right? Well, what happens when there's 100 offers for sale? Then you've got 10 FBA sellers. What happens when you have competition? It drives prices down, right? So you want the competition to be at a minimum. That's why that number is so powerful. And again, if you're like, well, how do I know the number? It's very easy. It's right there on Amazon, or if you're using Zen Arbitrage, it's right there in the search results next to every single book. So the basic idea, if I really had to kind of wrap this up in one sentence, is that the fewer the number of merchant fulfilled offers, the higher the chance of there being a high value FBA offer or no FBA offer at all. It's not uncommon to find books where there's only you know 20 offers for sale, where there is no FBA competition, not a single seller. In other words, if you buy that book, you are only competing with yourself and you could price that book into the stratosphere and you have no competition, okay? That's how powerful this is. Profit trigger number four, big price equals big profits. What this means is the more you're willing to spend per book, 
the bigger the profits you're going to see. And, and as a, it's, it's actually a double win because not only are you going to get higher profits, it's going to be easier for you to find those books when you're searching. Because a lot of people aren't willing to spend big money. So if you are, you basically are just in a, in a low competition zone. So the higher the merch fulfilled price, in other words, the higher the price you're going to pay per book, the higher the FBA price, okay? And the easier it is to find books with profit. So it's like, again, I, I can't stress enough, it is a double win when you're willing to pay more for, for books. So if I could translate this in a different way, the more you spend per book, the easier it will be to find books with big profits and the higher your profits will be on a per book basis. Really, really powerful. So consider that most used books are priced barely above the break even point, right? The vast majority of used books on Amazon are like, you know, $3, right? And that if, if you're a merch fulfilled seller, you're just barely breaking even at that amount. So a book that is priced at $10 has a dramatically, dramatically reduced chance of having an FBA price gap that is big enough for us to profit from than a book that's priced $50. You will have, I mean, I, I can't even, I can't even stress enough. Like it'll be 10 times easier to find a book that you can profit, you know, $30 on when you're paying $50 than if you're paying $10. In fact, if you're paying $10 per book, it's gonna be really hard to find books you can profit $30 on. They exist, but it's gonna be really hard. Whereas with $50, it's like fish in a barrel, right? But the question is why? Why is that the case? What, what causes this? Well, because when prices hit a break-even point, and $10 is actually not a break-even point, it's more around around like, like, you know, like $4 or something, but when prices start to get down towards a break-even point, used offers start to bunch up at that amount, meaning, they start to kind of like, you know, prices drop, and so then all the prices drop, and then pretty soon you've got 20, 30, 40, 50 copies per sale at five, $10, right? And then the FBA prices start to plummet with them because FBA sellers who want a faster sale start to lower their prices, and it just becomes a race to the bottom. Okay, does that make sense? So don't get me wrong, there are still tons of cheap books with high price FBA offers. Matter of fact, I talked to a seller, um, a Zen Arbitrage member recently, he will not pay more than $10 per book and I was like, wow, that's bold. You must spend a lot of time searching. He's like, he's like, dude, I'm doing five figures per month, only paying never, no more than $10 per book. And I was like, five figures a month? His sales were like $15,000 that month. And I was like, wow, that's pretty, that's pretty impressive. So anyway, the point is, there's not, not that there's no opportunity, it's just reduced, right? But as you go up from the break-even point to $10, to 20, to 30, to 50, your opportunity increases exponentially. Very, very key point here. So the big takeaway is pay a little more and have exponentially greater returns. Last profit trigger, profit trigger number five is what I call textbook gold. Now, it is a big misconception, you guys, that online book arbitrage is just for textbooks. That is not the case, like not even close. So we've got a million videos that talk about it, mostly in our training portal um, that you can only access as is an arbitrage member. I've got a million videos talking about the power of different categories of books, how to find them, et cetera. But yes, at the end of the day, textbooks are the most profitable category far and away. So you can literally practice online book arbitrage with any type of book. I just said that, I, I repeat it constantly because it is really important. You really limit yourself if you're only doing the typical door stopper si style like textbook like you see here on the side of this slide, right? But there are some books that are better than others, as I said. So on the least desirable end of the spectrum, let's talk about the worst category of book for online book arbitrage, general fiction. Yes, you can still profit off these. Absolutely, you can still profit off these. But generally, fiction consumers are not willing to pay way more for an FBA offer, right? It's just, I've been doing this for years, I've just seen it, I don't even need to know why, I just know it's true. It doesn't mean it doesn't work. It just means they're, they're less likely to pay exorbitant FBA prices, right? But on the most desirable end of the spectrum is, of course, textbooks. There is seemingly no limit to how much more an Amazon customer will pay to get a prime eligible, AKA FBA textbook. I mean, I've, there's stories of, of, of Zen Arbitrage members getting $300, $400 more than the lowest merchant fulfilled price. It's bonkers, but it works. And again, I'm talking 40, 50, you know, these are, these are, these are normal numbers, $100 normal numbers to get in excess of the merch fulfilled price. It's totally bonkers, but it's just a quirk of, of, of textbook buyers, the textbook buyer psychology. And if I had to give you like one that was right in the middle, scholarly nonfiction. So this is not like the pop nonfiction, like the mainstream nonfiction. 
you know, like some mainstream uh, like travel book or something. But like niche nonfiction for an academic audience would kind of be like in between the two, right? So these are books that aren't exactly textbooks, but they're more suited for an academic crowd. There is massive amounts of potential here. As a matter of fact, this is the most untapped category of book in, in online book arbitrage, period. I'm constantly screaming about this because it's so untapped because you, you get the best of both worlds. You get people that are willing to pay textbook level FBA prices, but nobody is tapping into this like it's so, because it's harder to spot scholarly nonfiction. We all know what a textbook looks like. You can see it right there on the slide. But what a scholarly nonfiction looks like. It takes more of a trained eye. And I've, got, and I've got videos about that, including videos about why people are willing to pay crazy prices for textbooks. There's a whole psychology there I don't, won't even get into. I don't want to kind of muddy up the details too much. But textbooks are truly where most of the money is at the end of the day. Okay, so there it is. The five triggers for online book arbitrage profits. If you understand what's in this video, you can get started searching for online book arbitrage opportunity right away, whether that's on Amazon, you wanna test the waters, do it manually, or you wanna dive in as an arbitrage. Now, if you want to automate the process, because remember, if you do this on Amazon, you can't search for all five of these principles. You can't just search for like textbook and you know sales, you can't do all that. There is a way to do all that, and that is with our tool called Zen Arbitrage. And you can dive in right now and access our free trial, it means free, 100% free, no strings whatsoever. You can dive in and start searching. You can literally just pillage our database Buy a bunch of books and peace out if you wanted to. <laughs> and at Zen Arbitrage, we offer you a complete business in a box just without the box. Totally virtual, just log in and get started instantly. And actually I say businesses because there's multiple ways to monetize the data that we give you in Zen Arbitrage. There's multiple businesses within a business and we, we teach you all that stuff once you start your free trial. So you can literally start right now. There's a link next to this video. You can pillage our database. You can buy everything. You can go totally crazy, put into practice everything you learned in this video, make money, prove the concept, and pay absolutely nothing. Free means free. Our trial is 100% free. Now, my commitment with Zen Arbitrage is to provide a partially automated, low-risk business that you can run from a computer from anywhere in the world. That is what I deliver with Zen Arbitrage. I built freedom into the DNA of Zen Arbitrage. That's, that's what's important to me more than the money, more than anything else. It's the freedom to run a business from a computer, from Starbucks, from Italy, from wherever you want. And so we're working overtime over here to automate the process of online book arbitrage and to make basically the stuff we talked about in this video a lot easier, okay? So with Zen Arbitrage, we offer you the tools, we offer you the training, and we offer you the community in one all-inclusive package, nothing else to purchase. We have over 20 tools and technologies nobody else offers, the biggest database by a factor of 10. We show you FBA offers for everything. We show you shipping prices included in all of our pricing data. No click scan of over 40 other book selling sites. We embed keepa charts, profit and sales tracking built in. Book restriction check, we're only ISBN marketplace, which is this insane thing I won't even talk about. It's too crazy. 360 degree support, my cell number. Yes, I give you my actual cell number when you sign up. Um, on and on and on. We're the only tool run by real Amazon sellers and on and on and on. So you get complete access to Zen Arbitrage when you hit that link next to this video. Complete access totally for free, right? Free means free. Complete access to our training program. Complete access to my cell phone. I really do give you my cell number. Full prep service setup so you can run this business from anywhere in the world. All the new features we've rolled out in the last six months and beyond. Complete business system, everything. You can get started in seconds. 100% web-based, nothing to download. No Amazon experience required. We cover, we get you covered with all that, all our training. Just, it goes into everything. No matter where you are in the experience spectrum, we have you covered. Total freedom, again, built into the DNA of Zen Arbitrage. You can run this from anywhere in the world. Total simplicity, everything is in one all-inclusive, simple dashboard. Nothing else you need to buy. Everything is included. I can't stress that enough. So if you like the way that sounds, now that you're armed with the top five profit triggers, you're like ahead of almost everyone else doing this, now all you have to do is click the link, get started, and I will see you over there.